feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign Welcome back to FAQ The Madness are you what stupid? Are you fucking now? Are you stupid? I think you're fucking Holy stupid. Holy fucking shit, hey, rabbit. Hey, dumbass. Let's jump into another rap. What is up, everybody? Good morning. It is really early in the morning, 413 on the East Coast as we speak. I was looking for something. I couldn't find it. Uh, earlier today, I was... Uh, well, not earlier today, just probably like maybe two hours ago. Uh, Vegas Vips, shout out to Vegas Vips, uh, asked a question. And he was asking like, what's going on with this? And da, 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 da. And so I was like, well, let me see I can, if I can find it. What I was thinking about is that I have been consuming a lot of content. Hey, carte blanche, good to see you. Some of us are just burning the midnight oil, aren't we? APM Friday night here. So let's see. 8 p.m. Friday night. So let's see. Where are you? New Zealand? Is that what NZ is? Well, yeah, I have to think about this. It's funny. I operate my eBay business, our eBay business, my wife and I, understanding that it's a global business that we that allows me to do what I do. Um, so and that that comes down to the point of uh, customer service. Um, you know, resolving issues, questions, all that stuff. So occasionally, even though my day may start or end at a certain time, if I'm doing business with the rest of the world, I have to realize also that uh you know they expect results and questions answered etc so um so i'm used to that so i also have to be cognizant of the fact that you know as i grow an audience which is really what i intend to do um the same thing can occur so thank you guys for joining wherever you are in the world and uh, i appreciate you joining I, I i don't know how much of my youtube life that you guys are aware of i'm going to explain it a little bit but i had a show with another individual many of you may know who that person is uh and i i i personally have decided that i'm not going to placate to many of the things that has gone on since we dissolved our relationship now i believe that it's quite evident what's going on with that individual and I'll let it be what it is. But when certain things come out and I feel like it's so extremely not representative of me, then I need to address it. What also has been on my mind was the fact that something was said during, I'm calling it the Benghazi meltdown. Do you guys know what, uh, Vips just ended. Yeah. Um, it, maybe that's why you guys are now here with me. What I was trying to show you guys is I was just kind of checking out a number of different things live wise. I have me here. This is me. This is something it moved on to. I've been golfing lately a lot. So, um, what was I going to go here live? I was checking out different things. Some things are more interesting. This Ray 2 D2 is someone that I just discovered today because I have been checking out Specs Appeal. Specs Appeal, did I get it right? This person right here, I'll put her up. I'll put her up big. No, I don't wanna mess up my, well, Specs Appeal. So we'll go to, to her channel. Really genuinely cool person. Today, um, she had uh, like Trivia Thursday, yesterday, actually. Trivia Thursday, I think I came in third place. She's really cool. She just recently shared something with the world. Go to her channel and check it out. Uh, two days ago, she was crying, all that stuff. 
And actually, uh, I think I might reach out to her because her story in that regard is kind of interesting and it actually relates to something that's happened in my lifetime. So, you know, I think I would love to uh, to visit uh, Australia. And I'll tell you a story. So when when the Olympics came to Utah, I worked at a bar, a very popular bar called Portacol in Salt Lake City. Literally one of the biggest bars probably in the state. Despite the fact that there are other bars that might be closer to, you know, uh, Vegas, those kind of things. It, it was really that cool of a bar. It was called Portacol. Uh, and it's created there after four or five different uh, bars that are there now that people who work there as bartenders became managers, etc. But... Oh, wait. So, and New Zealand and and, uh, and Australia are different. And maybe it was New Zealand. I can't remember exactly what it was. But those guys. I'm just calling them those guys. But during the Olympics, I was, uh, you know, a lot of people came to Salt Lake City. Uh, and I hung out, hung out with on my days off. So, 14, no, no, 12 out of the 14 days I worked. And then two days I had off. But every day I experienced, you know, some level of of dealing with the people who were coming into Salt Lake City. And then when I got off, maybe I hung out with them. And I hung out with some Australians, maybe some New Zealanders. I can't remember what they call them. Not moolies. That wasn't the right word. It's been a long time. I mean, that was a long time ago. Anyway, I had a great experience with those guys coming from there. Many of them, you know, the journalists, media types, all those kind of people. But we all just had a great time. They appreciate the service that I tried to give them. I was a busser. I ran around and served my bartenders. But then afterwards I played. So that was like Kiwis. I think that was who it is. Yeah. So anyway, that's a good time. I've done a number of different videos. And I did some videos with this individual right here. Now, there are some reasons why I might take something down, but very few. Like, for example, if you go on my channel, you will see a number of different shorts that I had that had that I was on a panel with um, that had uh, Rabbit Rouser, uh, Ben God, or Rabbit, Rabbit was on there as well. Todd was on there as well. I think maybe even based Oracle showed up, but I didn't record or do anything like that, even though I was a part of the show and I tried to do some shorts with it. They're not getting any views and that's fine. In fact, when I was trying to edit the videos, I think I set it up incorrectly. So they actually didn't come off as shorts. For those of you who are not aware of uh, the relationship that Todd and I had, we did do a show together leading up to, um, <laughs> thank you, leading up to uh, us being on a show together, we talked for a significant period of time. You know, he he uh, got Zoom when Zoom wasn't really what he wanted. He wanted another solution. It turned out to be StreamYard. StreamYard is a very good uh, solution to the things that you need to do. I'm not sponsored by them, but I love the tool. I'm thankful that I discovered it, etc. It starts to make me feel a certain kind of fucking way. When I'm bending over backwards, FAQ the madness, fucking bent over backwards, gave that dude fucking IQ or, or fucking, uh, what do you call it, uh, intellectual property. I fucking developed a fucking FAQ or frequently asked questions with fact the madness. The show was supposed to be heard, his. Fact the madness, FAQ the madness. You guys may, for those of you who are younger or even older my age, I'm 53 years old. You might recognize the term where people say F the madness. Fuck all that madness. You know, they say that. I deliberately wanted to use the name that I had and have a little duality in it. In this case, frequently asked questions, the madness, all the madness that exists in the world, the uh, particular subject that might be elusive on some level. You know, is it this? Is it that? religion on some level you know todd does a religious thing to me it had a very it had some duality in its meaning i liked the way it sounded so i used it so 
I think people get it. I think when Todd and I began speaking, he got it. And yes, we did talk about for months about doing a show together or doing something together. Now, I'm not discounting the fact that he may or may not have uh, suggested the name of the show, frequently asked questions with Fact of Madness, because by nature, he understood that I ask a lot of questions. He calls it the Socratic method, right? Where you ask questions to discover the answer to that question, and you go back and forth. Discussion, fine. Okay, we went with it, and we had a, a number of shows. I probably will do a little compilation of the shows that we had, good and bad, because we all know how it ended. But there was a whole space in between the highs and the lows, which I think both of us should have grown. Maybe he didn't. I did. And I have moved on. I'm moving on. It starts to make me feel a certain kind of fucking way. It starts to make me feel a certain kind of fucking way. It starts to make me feel a certain kind of fucking way. But when you take an incident, which I addressed and I thought we kissed and made up. And then you take that incident. It's a video. Go through my uh, my channel if you haven't already. Share it. Let people know like what's going on so that when they hear him say something, you can directly attribute the fallacy of it all to what I've done, represented, and continue to do with my show, which is now called, I call it, Facts with Fact the Madness, right? Doesn't have to say frequently asked questions. We all know what it is. So the setup then is this Benghazi rabbit. If you've hung out on his show, you know who that person is. You know the relationship that they have very uh, to the point guy and I'm sure the relationship that he and uh, Generally Specific have had dictates that sometimes he sharpens him as as uh, Todd says all the time I did the same thing so that's where the context of this all is and somewhere along the line he melts down but we get to the crux of what it is that I want to say about this. And if you guys want to hear a little bit more, let me know. But I'm going you know, to play. They're going to drag I, you back down that hole. going to play until I get to the point. So Don't let them. They don't impact you whatsoever. Until the moment they show up at your front door. Yes. No more words need to be said about that. They don't have any impact on you. They're keyboard warriors, dude. They're little trolls. That's it. I said, I'm sorry to get pissed off at both of you, but it's like, dude, we've all sat here for fucking months at this point and listened to it. It's like, okay, enough. We're all grown ass men. These are children you're dealing with. <laughs> Let them deal with their fucking parents who want to neglect them. We don't need to be their parents and keep talking about. Them. I think he's talking about what uh, is who is known as F3, fine fix finish. I don't know if it's fine finish fix, whichever. Another catchy term. I don't know if it comes from a movie or whatever, but he's talking about those guys. They have a beef. And, you know, whether it's fair or not fair, I'm not even part of that. And part of one of the things that uh, Todd has decided that he has a problem with me is that I do land on in the middle of the road until maybe I figure out all or get all the information and I can make then my own considerations of an issue right um and he he says something to this effect with benghazi he says you know stand in the gap and according to him we know what stand in the gap means when uh he's like go on to another people's panel on panel or another venue and and stand up for me or whatever well you know what todd sometimes you make it difficult to stand up for your ass you do. So figure it out so that if you want to be in this realm, this orbit, then you can effectively uh, describe the things that you are passionate about. Nobody's nobody is doubting you for being passionate about something. 
but you take passion to an extreme sometime and everyone sees it them and try and get them you know so hey, i just want to i just want to i just want to point out i want to point out something real quick um just Jess, jesse is going to get in here uh he's going to tear me a new one and i'm going to take it um so here's the interesting thing the people in my orbit think enough about me to tell me the hard truth and to get me off of a certain track that's not going to lead me to anything positive they they love me enough to tell me the freaking truth faithful are the wounds of a friend deceitful are the kisses of an enemy meanwhile on the other crew they'll lie to them let them continue to handhold them let them sit there with their drugs and their alcohol and let them be molly coddled into an early grave i'm glad i'm glad to see that there are people here that are willing to tell and listen I, i'm right there with you i i'm sick of this nonsense uh, you know every time i try to turn away from this it's like bam they're right there in my face and i know that i'm on the right track because evil doesn't like it when you're doing the right thing so they come after you twice as hard what i would just say though it'd be awful nice if some of this advocating uh you know and some of these strong words of encouragement is that's how i'm receiving them um you know it'd be nice to have a little support you know when people stand in the gap there we go the stand in the, in the gap thing right god knows what he means by stand in the gap but like i said it 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 literally becomes difficult to stand in the gap for you todd <laughs> i mean as simple as that go to the get it from the horse's mouth where did this stuff actually come from and it was this broadcast if you will this live which has now apparently been taken down or maybe it's hidden behind his paywall i mean which is interesting he, he has enough people you know he's monetized and all that stuff fine i'm not there yet put it behind your paywall if you want to but i was looking for it because i wanted to make sure that i had the information right but i i grabbed it i did grab it so i have it so anyway um let's see i spent enough time in in learning the bible where sometimes some things that people say just don't jive or and this not to be judgmental at all where what they say about the bible that suits them and what they do again do not jive i think occasionally we see that there is an extremity going on between what this guy this guy purports to believe in they live etc it's just not what we see sorry it's just not what we see but you continuously he continuously makes it apparent to us because he can he makes a lot of content right we cannot none of us can dispute the fact that he makes a lot of content uh, and that there are people out there who have been on his show dealing with them directly and all of the aftermath of having done so you know we see it so at the end of the day i'm here right now just disputing the distinct thing that he said about me and again i'll move on so here's so here's 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 my issue though Luno and this isn't this isn't directed at you this isn't directed at my buddy uh my other my other military buddy this is the people that would want me to do and highlight their special interests over trying to protect my own name and my own fucking brand and my own fucking reputation which I'm fighting for they want me to ignore this shit over here and only focus on the things they think are important so when I'm over here showcasing other people trying to be supportive of them, and then when I fucking need support, crickets, it starts to make me feel a certain kind of fucking way. When I'm bending over backwards, FAQ the madness, fucking bent over backwards, gave that dude fucking IQ or, or fucking, uh, what do you call it? Uh, intellectual property. I fucking developed a fucking FAQ or frequently asked questions with fact the madness. The show was supposed to be heard, his. 
and I get fucking stabbed in the back. He makes fucking hit pieces. I promoted his fucking show left and right. I promoted his fucking channel left and right. And he fucking stabbed me in the back as a black fucking supremacist. And then calls me a fucking racist. I think Jody, jo all of you guys, and again, I'm so appreciative of those who, and some of you I met uh, through Todd. He doesn't get all the credit for it. I mean, maybe there's something about me that you guys like. Maybe you guys like my damn glasses. Who knows? I'll give credit where credit is due. And I will foster the relationship that all of you guys are creating with me. And I hope that I do right by most of the things that I say and do. And I hope that you guys hold me accountable to those things as well. Um, but, you know, you guys keep keep showing up and supporting me when I come on on so I appreciate that you know maybe it's my beard who knows <laughs> look I'm yeah. not I'm not anyone's little dance monkey okay I don't fucking juggle balls for people's entertainment in that sense I'm gonna have a conversation about the shit I want to talk about and it's not for everyone all the time I understand sure. that do I want to get sucked up in this drama no do I appreciate that uh, rabbit is kind of giving me both shotguns to the face yeah I do appreciate it would I rather have Rabbit in my channel and us talk about more important things than these fucking morons over there? Yep, absolutely. And that's what he's, that's basically what he said. We've all told him that. Based. Rabbit. I don't know, Flo may have said something. Uh, people in the chat have said it. Get off the subject of those guys, your DD214, whatever you call it, uh, your, your, uh, it's your reputation on the line, etc. Sir, you have established what your reputation is throughout the community. When I say community, whatever you call it, not 1A, not, I mean, I don't even know what you call those panel things that, that we participate in. All of that reputation, uh, even what preceded you with your service, is being established by your actions what comes out of your mouth a again am i wrong do i have it do i have it wrong i don't think i do and i have i haven't broke bread with you but we spent ample time behind the scenes talking about how we would conduct ourselves on camera there is not any you can any of you guys can go back and you can listen to all of our interactions, he and I. There is not one instance where he... Now, I, I'm not going to say what people have used the term spurred. I didn't really know what that term was. The first time I ever heard it was, was uh, Todd say it. But I heard Muckster mentioned where it came from and I looked it up. I don't think that's the term I want to use. But freak out, whatever. That's what you've done. But that's never happened on my... Not when I was with you. Not on my show. Not with me. So I don't know what compel, compels you to get to that point. Uh, maybe I didn't scratch the surface well enough to get you there. And I, I never really intended to. I wanted to have conversations where we could continue and not just get all blown up and one of us rage quit. Triggered. That's the question. I guess, I guess, you know, I never really thought about what it means when people say trigger. But what happens when you pull a trigger? you get a very violent reaction. So it, it makes sense that people say triggered and, and yeah, he's triggered on some level. I thought we we're all fucking team players, but some motherfuckers only give a shit about what the fuck they give a shit about. And they don't fucking give a shit about anything else. And I'm that fucking moron. I'm that fucking moron that cares way more about other people than I care about myself. And guess what? That makes me a sucker. It makes me a sucker. It makes me a fucking fool and people take advantage of me. And everyone wants me to focus on what they think is fucking more important. And no one seems to give a shit about the things that I think are important with, with the exception of a few people. Well, I'll just say you're not alone on that. So I was that way too. I had the root away. You wouldn't be alone if you had me in your corner and you said, point, there's a target. And you know what I would fucking do? I'd fucking zero my weapon. Well, I mean, Rabbit. that's, that's the fucking been, difference. That's what I've been trying to tell you, Todd. I got a target. I'm trying to get you zeroed in. It's more than you've realized. I got a man. target. I'm trying to get you zeroed in. No, you don't like, give a shit about my point. targets. That's like, my fucking point. You're, you're illustrating your point, target. Rabbit. It's not a valid target. 
Yes, you think your targets are valid when you know what? My uh, the vast majority of the, the government entity the vast just majority of, uh, listen, Rabbit, the vast majority of the population doesn't have a fucking clue what you're talking about. And that's fine. I don't give a fuck about the, uh, the uh, that's not who I'm talking about. You have what, don't what don't I'm, look what, at I'm, me what like I'm that, saying, dude. what I'm saying, what I'm just saying trying is, to tell you what I just tried to tell you. They're just words. They're not a valid target for you to aim your fucking sights on, dude. So, so says you, brother. So what do you mean? So says me. They're not at your front fucking door. And I do have some allies. I, I, I I'm very grateful. There there is a core group of people that do have my back. But guess what? They don't fucking need the stress either. And guess what? Most of my viewers don't tune in to listen to the fucking bullshit and the drama. I get it. You've got stuff going on in your life. You got stuff going on in your life. And you got stuff going on in your life. We all got lives, man. But here's the interesting thing. You got some big channels out there. You got some people that have some influence. And if, and if, if let's say if 10 viewers from each of your channels cared enough to support someone who's gone out of his way to support these other bigger channels to elevate and amplify amplify them with as little as my channel is i have busted my ass i all i'm going to say is that i think there might be something inherently wrong with that notion that smaller things amplify bigger things like doesn't it just get caught up in the noise I think what he's saying is, you know, with these small channels supporting big channels, you know, he's gotten big channels like, you know, um, what was his name? Jer Jericho Green was one of his first uh, people. I don't hear him saying anything about what he just what he's going to be saying about me, etc. He didn't need you to amplify him. Some of the guests that you've had way bigger than you. I don't think they needed you to amplify them. I'm sure they appreciate the support, right? They appreciate the support, but you're not amplifying their message. If anything, you may be contributing, contributing to their message, which is already established. You know, I don't think any of them would let you bring it down, but I just think you, you, you may be having a little twisted there, sir. I have busted my ass to accentuate and do whatever I can to lend my voice to the 1A community to to going standing in the gap against evil if if just 10 people out of each of these channels went into these people's these streams I mean cuz there was based oracle I still remember the look on Josh's face based oracle went into F3 channel and he said what the what are you guys doing He's like, what, what is all this like gatekeeping? This DD214 gate. And the look on Josh's face when one motherfucker that wasn't me stood against Josh and criticized him. A fellow fucking Marines looked at him and said, What the fuck are you doing, dude? Why are you fucking with other vets? This is fucking childish high school shit. One dude, and I will never forget him doing that. He did sell out to Izzy now. I'm not okay with that, but I'll never forget the fact that just the everyone wants me to do what they want me to do. Uh. Peace. I'm not looking for the world to, to get shoulder to shoulder with me. Just maybe 300. Can I get fucking 300? Can I get 300 fucking Spartans to fucking join me and hold the fucking gap? I'm here, bro. I appreciate it. That's all I'm asking for. Everyone wants me to do what they want me to do. And, and I've done it. I've busted my ass. I've accentuated your channels. I've promoted your channels. I'm tiny. I'm just some little dude, but I'm willing to bend over backwards and stand in the gap for you, with you, by you. And because I care about you and I care about what you're going through. I I, I didn't even know. I, I never heard one of his Bible studies or anything like that. But uh, and he he goes to this space there or this place there. And then on his gaming channel, he goes to another place where nobody is interjecting uh, what he or and he, and is uh, disputing what he's talking about, so he can he can get that out there. And I didn't know Todd before YouTube. But I have I have no idea about what he did on Periscope. I've never even been on Periscope. But apparently, you're saying that he he got this way too on on there. Now, would we be surprised about it? Mm, I don't think so. And I've heard Todd say something about uh, you know. 
why don't they just leave me alone? Am I that important that they need to, you know, use me? They don't have content on their own, et cetera, et cetera. And similar to what the, what the like frauditor troll will say, like he wouldn't have content unless you had one, a auditors doing crazy stuff. And that's probably true. And I would not have gone here unless I heard what I heard from your mouth on your show. And I, I, I'm sorry, but I, there comes a point where you just literally have to say something and I have not watched a second of your show for maybe months now and then based brought it up I thought it was interesting and I like to I like to get the full context of things so I went back and I listened to the show which now doesn't appear on your show you've taken it down or put it behind a wall where everybody cannot see it and then I heard what you said about it, it starts to make me feel a certain kind of fucking way when I'm bending over backwards, FAQ the madness, fucking bent over backwards, gave that dude fucking IQ or, or fucking, uh, what do you call it? Uh, intellectual property. I fucking developed a fucking FAQ or frequently asked questions with fact the madness. The show was supposed to be heard, his. And I get fucking stabbed in the back. He makes fucking hit pieces. I promoted his fucking show left and right. I promoted his fucking channel left and right. And he fucking stabbed me in the back as a black fucking supremacist. And then calls me a fucking racist. He has these marathon-ass lives for five hours. And sometimes you just want to find something. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? This is what I'm going to do. I don't know if you can block comments or not or whatever. I mean, I guess you can. It's YouTube. Uh, you know, the Supreme Courts have ruled that you can, that uh, they can take down comments, etc. But I know people appreciate when they timestamp things. So I think that if I go to a show, like even if it's if it's GS's show, and I hear something that maybe I want to highlight, or maybe I want other people to highlight, then I'm going to timestamp it and describe what it says. Like, for example. And I get fucking stabbed in the back. He makes fucking hit pieces. I promoted his fucking show left and right. I promoted his fucking channel left and right. And he fucking stabbed me in the back as a black fucking supremacist and then calls me a fucking racist. I mean, you know what? I think we I think we act and react when we have the the the, the all of the information. And sometimes I think, you know, GS will just react and he doesn't have all the information. And I told him when we first met, he was like, Dude, be careful by the, the fraud at Wrangler guy, and, and he's going to, you know, because I did I did a piece where I was I disagreed with something that he said about Tyrant Terminator, right? So, fraud at Wrangler did a, you know, it's on it's it's in one of my videos. I can't remember what the name of it is, but he did a piece. Um, Tyrant Terminator was in the back lot of an area and the sheriff came out and they were having an inter in interaction and Frater Angler said, you know, this is this, you know how he, how he does. And I said, I disagree. And I did a show, I did a, a, a video on it. I was learning how to do that type of stuff, right? Uh, and then Todd was like, dude, you know, be careful because uh, that guy, he's going to come out and get you, blah, blah, blah. Same thing with Finkel. He, Finkel and Muckster. He's like, you know, you get on their show or you, you associate with me. They're going to disown you, etc. I got on the show with Finkel and them. And they're like, dude, this is what Todd said about if you came on our show, this would happen. And the exact opposite happened. And then Todd got all pissy because I got on his show. I don't need his permission to go anywhere. I'm a grown ass man. That's what I'm saying. We And he he acts like he's the only person that can be a grown ass man. <laughs> it's just so funny. It's laughable, sir. Laughable. I'll tell you what, what I would appreciate, Rabbit, is my friend to not give uh, my enemies ammunition. That's what I would appreciate. And stop Rabbit. having streams about them. <laughs> you're oh, giving them your own so, fucking so hold, ammunition, on, hold on. Dude. So what you're saying is that I should conduct my warfare the way you think I should conduct my warfare. And if I don't, then you're going to be the one that Maybe undermines me. Read Sun Tzu. Have you even yeah, read yeah. that? Yeah, where it says you never interrupt their enemy when, warfare, when they're making a mistake. Dude. Yeah, because you're stuff. really not you're not focusing at all you're getting too bogged down you're getting too stressed over some bullshit words from fucking keyboard warriors who'd rather inebriate themselves and get away from reality but my stance has been clear for months and it will be even more vocally clear yeah i, I know you're 
I know you do. And I don't. What do you, what do you, what do you mean? It'll be even more vocally clear. That means like you're I just said gonna tonight. fucking pile on with the fucking retards that are coming after my fucking jugular. Is that what you're gonna fucking do? Is that how you're gonna do me? I mean, if you want favorite? me to do that, fine. If you want to be a little baby, is that how you want to fucking that. help me? Is that if you how you want to help bitch, me, right? I'll do that. I'll be a oh, bitch. Now, I'll, I'll, now I'm yeah. a bitch. Now you I'm act a bitch, like a rabbit. fucking little bitch. I'll act. I'll fucking treat you like one. So now I'm a you little bitch. You tried to treat me like a man tonight, but now you want to be a little fucking high school kid. Okay. Stop acting like a fucking child, Todd. Okay. You're All a grown ass adult. All right, brother. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fucking prove me right. Pr prove you right how? By you coming after me and you call I'll me let a you, friend? I'll, I'll let you do. I'll let you do your thing. You, you call All me right. a friend I, and then you come after me. Go ahead, Jesse. All right, Todd. Look, I'm going to step down so Vips can get in. But I'll be honest with you. This one hurts me way more than anything they've ever said. Even, even shit they say about my gay son or my wife and all this other horrible shit they're saying about my fucking family. Yeah. Hey, this this right here, I'll be honest with you. This this got my attention. It's got my attention. Yeah. And, what is and I'm, not, I'm not sure that, that I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure. That, I'm sorry. What got your attention tonight? Finally. Well, what got my attention is, as I've said, and I've had this suspicion for a long time, a lot of people in the 1A community, which you're, you're, you say you're not part of. A lot of these people like it for me to do what they want me to do. And when I'm not doing it, they lose interest in my channel. And when, when I'm distracted because I'm trying to protect myself and my brand and my back and all these other things, when I'm supporting them and having their backs, when there's really nothing in it for me to have most of these people's backs. Um, matter of fact, uh, shit, I mean, just showing kindness to, to Wrangler by not wanting to destroy the man has caused me so much fucking pain by trying to stand in the gap and say instead of destroying this guy who i i don't really have a good opinion of but i'd rather not destroy him instead of not wanting to destroy him it has caused me so much fucking suffering and pain for not wanting to kill steal and destroy another man really i don't think that's a very fair assessment of what it is that you have done i mean i really don't and like Mitch says, if you wait long enough, Toddy always goes sideways. There's like an ulterior motive to what he has been doing. And yes, I agree. I saw somewhere where I'll put it up, but uh, uh, Angel says he has a problem with women really bad. Yeah. As evidenced by his speech. Because I, because I, I was the reason why they haven't fully destroyed him because i wouldn't get on the third turnbuckle and drop an elbow on a dude who's already unconscious face yeah, down on, the fucking on you now, not him. be right back him right but see here's the thing right be if you hear if you guys hear something about me while i'm gone for just a, a brief second then uh let me know that i miss it i have to go back but uh i'll be right back because i made a choice to not be a fucking degenerate dirt bag and try to destroy now i might need i might need this stern talking to and it, and it might need to be public. It, it might very well need to shake me out of it. And I and I agree with everything you guys are saying. I just think that there's some things that I'm saying that I would really appreciate if there was a little agreement and an accord from my allies. Now, I don't know exactly what the plan of action, but doing absolutely nothing when the fucking trumpet goes for revelry or retreat is not really what I would consider to have someone on my team that when I when I announce revelry or retreat, there's no action whatsoever. Yeah? And I mean it. And I still mean it. And I love you. And I'm, I'm always going to love you, brother. We broke bread. I'm not taking that back. And nothing you can say to me is going to change that. Nothing you can say to me is going to change that. Okay? I don't care how harsh the truth is. I need to hear it. I need to hear it. That's I'm fine with that. But for fuck's sake, dude. When I'm asking for fucking help. <laughs> You've never asked me for help, Todd. You can't fucking sit there and say that. You've never asked me for fucking help. Dude, Don't. I've asked I've asked you probably six times no, in, the you have not. Fucking 40, in the last 40 okay. fucking minutes. Todd, that's you can't no, don't sit there and fucking ooh, throw your hands up. You can't say that within the last fucking stream that I've sat here and talked to you that's asking for help. That's a valid fucking thing. You've literally just said, What was the last forty minutes? 
by that, you just admitted you've never asked me for fucking help. So you can't say that I can't. I'm not I helping you when I'm sitting said, here. See, here we go, man. I don't know what's. I don't know what's going on with you, dude. Yeah, it's, okay, it's fucking funny. It's okay, so Todd. Life. Okay, Todd. You can't yeah. sit here and say that I've asked you for help for forty I'm minutes. Doing it right fucking now. What I'm can I do? Asking right now. Are you right stupid? Fucking now. Are you stupid? I think you're fucking. Holy stupid. fucking shit, hey, rabbit! Hey, dumbass. What fucking yeah. help oh, can now I I'm do a for you? Dumbass. Hey, now I'm a what dumbass. What help can All I right. do for you right now, dude? I'm sitting here on a fucking panel with you. What help can I, I do for you, Todd? Are you that stupid? This isn't stupid? helpful. This isn't yeah. helpful. Because what you're, you're so doing dumb. right now is not helpful. You're rather. so dumb because you don't understand it. Me sitting on a panel. What help can I do for you right now, Todd? Exactly. Rabbit, go fucking smarten yourself up, dude. That's honestly bravo to, to Rabbit. Um, for quote unquote standing up to Todd, and you know, it's it, as if he is this being that we need to be fearful of standing up to. I mean, who are you really? When it, at the end of the day, you're just another man privy to all of the susceptible to all of the things that we all are susceptible to. You know everything so why does he have to show anything other than i mean some loyalty as a friend yes but i mean good god you ask the world and i think that uh and at the same time you make it difficult to be able to give you that that's what you're doing here. You're no, 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 no. Everything he's he doing is wrong. He just admitted that he never asked time. me for I'm help. I'm tired of it, dude. Dude, you well, need I'm to tired of both you up. motherfuckers grow thinking up, that dude. we're going to sit on. here on a fucking high you horse and say, oh, where's you're Rabbit at? You never call or ask uh, for help. So that's on uh, you, I motherfucker. I go to your channel and I promote it. I don't give a fuck about you, Brick. This conversation's not about you. All right. You guys just hang out in the basement for a second, guys. Uh, yeah, um, it's it's funny this how they lit. said they say no drama, right? Yeah, that's that's what. Yeah. One second, bro. Hey. It's fucking embarrassing, man. No, just just one second, bro. I, I, it's nothing against you. Go ahead, Lynn. God, hey, um, let's uh wrap this up and let's. We need to talk. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah, that way you. None of this needs to get put out. It's starting to dive off a little too fucking far. People starting to get heated. And I mean, that's just my opinion. Um, yeah, it's, I agree it's with so you as far as the ammo. I think you need to go ahead and uh, shut this one down yep. and keep us in the, the basement. Go ahead and roll your outcry. I mean, I'm not trying to tell you how to run your channel, but. No, 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 you're but, doing great. Yeah. You're doing great. Yeah. Yeah. Let, so I, let's us go and talk in the back in the background and figure out what the fuck this left turn Clyde shit just happened when we supposed to take a right. Yep. All right. All right. Thanks guys. And, uh, nah, it is what it is. I love it. Uh, I like it when I find out exactly where people fucking stand without going in too much detail other than any detail, which I've shared of my life. There is not too many people that would even, fathom the notion that I am a supremacist. <laughs> it's ridiculous and consider the source. I think that's enough said. If I need to say any more, then you guys let me know. All right. So an hour and 13 minutes. Um, I think we went through enough. There's probably been multiple people that have done kind of a little piece about this particular thing. Um, you can't go and, and, and and check it out yourself unless maybe you're a member i was a member at it sometime maybe you put it behind a paywall paywall but i implore you gs bring it back up hell listen to it do a live with you listening to yourself go through this what we just witnessed the the totality of it and uh have your own self a come to jesus meeting so that you can understand how terrible you sound when you say this type of stuff when you flip out for no reason in the middle of somebody trying to tell you reasonable shit 
Yeah. All right. So before I leave, let's get through the rest of the chats. I'm learning. I'm learning how it kind of goes with. Uh, I mean, you you guys can see. I have been kind of checking out different different things, different videos, different people. Um, some of the things that they do, best practices, you know, worst practices. Uh, I'm not. I, I. I. When I say I'm not a panel guy, I just simply mean I don't like for people to be hollering over each other. You can't understand what people are saying. Some people do it better than others, and I enjoy listening to some panels more than others. I really like um, the Tomato Lady. Sorry, I don't know. Raging Tomato Sarah, I think is her name. She actually conducts the panel in a way that she garners respect and control. She's obviously polished with it. So I, I appreciate how she does it. And usually you can hear the ideas. Sometimes people get out of hand. She brings it back. Um, I love Based. I think Based is cool. He's calm, cool, collected. Um, he knows how to how to take some rambling ass statement of a person and bring it back to so that you can get the crux, the cookie, the morsel of it all. And I, I like to think that I'm kind of like that. Um, I say middle of the road ish, but before I pick my side, so to speak, I have to have as much information as I possibly can. And that's information that comes from me living, moving towards death, meaning that I'm, that I'm, that I'm getting older, I'm wiser than I was when I was younger. All of the things that I've done before in my lifetime establish who I wanted to be and who I have become. I mean, that's what we, sh we, we should all be. And in the process, you should be, we should be able to pick away, shed away the stuff that brings us down and to the grave sooner if we're not doing that then you're just living to die <laughs> and that sounds so terrible who wants to live to just die not me sir ma'am anyway whether you be on the right side or the left side of any issue politically mindset wise whatever as far as I'm concerned, all I would like for you to do with me is meet me somewhere here in the middle. Because when you go to the extremes of, in any direction and you keep going in that direction, you cannot meet another person and understand where they come from. If you understand that, if you feel what I'm saying, then please join me again the next time that we speak. I will see you then. Everybody have a good day and good morning. Thank you for watching. If you have a video you'd like for us to cover, use the submit link in the description or pinned comment. If you enjoyed this one, consider subscribing and hit the bell to be notified of future content. Be sure to check out all of the other content we have for your edutainment. We will continue to respectfully exercise our First Amendment rights and publish the interactions we have with government officials. Remember to like, share, and leave a comment. It's the easiest way for you to let us know your thoughts about our channel. I wanna be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place, all this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it, the noose if it's some loose shit, a stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip, you choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift. Oh.